most companies do have CSR roles and I think it's a good role to go into. And I think it's a place where, because it is a growing role, you can implement a lot of change yourself. Hello, and welcome to the first installment of the Sustainable Career mini-series brought to you by the HDH Equinauts, where we bring you along to discover a wide range of sustainable careers that you may be interested in. On this first installment, I interviewed Avery Guest, the president of the Social Entrepreneurship Association at UC San Diego, to talk about corporate social responsibility, what it means to sustainability, what it means to different companies, and how students can best prepare to enter this career. To learn more and hear what she had to say, keep watching. Corporate social responsibility is just the business taking action for what they're doing. They're taking accountability for all the things that is going on. They're trying to make more sustainable actions, whether that be like trying to produce less waste, they're trying to treat their employees, right? There's a lot of different ways that it manifests itself in companies. Sustainability can't be done just at the individual level. And I think a lot of it has to do additionally with like society. So like waste, consumerism, um, uh, just like carbon footprint, that kind of stuff. But in America, for example, I think that business has to kind of come in and fill in a lot of those gaps that the government doesn't. So I think that there's a lot of space for business to make options better for the consumer. So at an individual level, you'll be making better decisions just because the businesses have essentially already made them for you. When the corporate social responsibility unit is created, everyone is impacted by what they do and like what they implement. If you know that the company you're working for is working on reducing their carbon footprint, like they're working on becoming more green, they're working on giving back to nonprofits, then I think that you're going to feel a lot more passionate about what you do, knowing that you're doing something that's good for other people. You knowing you contributing to something else will increase your quality of life and increase your job. And I think that one of the biggest problems with it right now is that companies do it as a PR stunt and it's more like, oh, like, yeah, we um, value the world and like we care a lot about. Uh, but with that in mind, I don't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing because even though sometimes intentions can be bad, outcomes can be good. Most companies do have CSR roles and I think it's a good role to go into. And I think it's a place where because it is a growing role, you can implement a lot of change yourself with it, uh, which is very interesting. So if you are interested in doing something like that, there's a lot of opportunity for that. I would say like Ben and Jerry's is a really good one. They use cows without hormones and you do treat your cows humanely. There's a lot less monocrop culture that goes on. Another one is Dr. Bronner's, which is actually in San Diego and they do all of those soaps, but they really focus on decreasing waste using fair trades. So that's a good one. And then I think one of the biggest ones that people probably know is Patagonia. They donate a lot of their profits to environmental causes, but they additionally make their products so high quality and they talk about how you can bring them in and get stuff fixed all the time because they want to fight against consumerism. So that just decreases waste. I think one of the biggest ways is like advocacy, but I guess that would be coming from someone who works on an organization that is trying to advocate for social entrepreneurship and sustainability in business in general. There's a actual social entrepreneurship class through Rady. Um, they also have just created a minor. Other classes that I've taken that I think would be helpful, general business ethics, management 16, economics of the environment, economics of ocean resources, psychology of climate change, social entrepreneurship association. We are just here to educate students about social entrepreneurship. We have speakers come in. We're here to do social skills, professional skills to anyone that watches it try your best to be sustainable, but it's, it's tough. <laughs>